is Venture Ruler. I see you're curious about a Super Mario Maker 2 level I created called an abandoned ship. Let me tell you about it. So one morning, I was chilling, looking through YouTube to kill some time. I bumped into a video about a Super Mario 64 speedrun. One of the levels that stood out to me was a submarine above a deep ocean. This level was Dire Dire Docks. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually never beat Mario 64. That's right, I was born in 97, and the consoles I mainly played were the DS, GameCube, and the Wii. Mario 64 was on the DS as a remake, but I never played the story. I was more interested in the minigames, because I was a little kid, and with how quick they booted up and easy to play they were... That explains it. <laughs> Anyways, I really liked the view of that submarine in the ocean in 64, so I wanted to make my level based around that. All the platforming takes place underwater. The coins, enemies, and key coins are all submerged below. Key coins are needed to beat the level because the door that is in the lower deck of the pirate ship is locked. That door leads to the goal. Now, the sea adventure starts with a small cave inside the island you spawned on. Two fish redeads are ready to attack you as you move patiently under the thwomp to get the first key coin. Heading deeper in the ocean is a grinder. This part is not too difficult because they follow a track. What could raise the difficulty bar is the next obstacle, a fire bar. This baby turns counterclockwise towards you. After you get past the buzz saws, you have to wait for the fire to get out of your way. Next to the fire bar, and in between the two spike throwing enemies named, well, Spike, is your next key coin. But you must be quick, the fire bar is still spinning. Under a small structure of underwater land is the next key coin next to two more fish bones. Back again, moving up and around is a classic Mario obstacle. Piranha plants pop in their heads from precisely placed Mario pipes. It's pretty straightforward. Now the real hard part is when you arrive at the underwater burners. The three burners that take turns blasting fire, you need to get in a precise position in between each burner before the one behind you burns your bum. At the bottom is the second to last key coin. Above you are three red pipes spawning three fatal fish. Under you is the last key coin being guarded by probably the hardest burner barrier. It is the only entrance to get to the key coin and you have to time when the flames rise. This segment is difficult because both burners take immediate turns activating. I did this by making the burner function normally and the other one at an opposite synchronization. Yes, I know. I'm a jerk. My tip to you is that the fire only stays active for about 3 seconds, so in case you need help with the pattern, that is the knowledge you'll need. That is all for the showcase today, thank you for listening and watching. If you would like to try out the level for yourself, the ID, my Twitter and my Discord are all in the description down below. Thanks for watching!